All right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Our good buddy Florentin from Vinecraft. These guys have crafted themselves an excellent book of wines here. And uh, not only stuff from France, which Florence is very familiar with, but he's also got some great stuff from Washington State, from California. Just one of the best small distributors now here in South Florida. And we've got uh, Alessandro Vetto Barbaresco to start out with. Hey, he's even got some Italian wines in this 2010. Wow, a great vintage. This is a small family-owned estate out of Sierra Lunga de Alba. And, uh, wow, this property, this Barbaresco has got a very pretty nose here. Rose petals, white truffles, fresh mint tar, black spices to complement that red cherry berry fruit. A good amount of that juicy berry fruit on the tongue with a nice hand of exotic spices, that minty herbal nuance, as well as that uh, uh, lovely acidity here holding everything together. Uh, $26.50. Wow, one of the most... One of the best values we've had from 2010 in the Barbaresco category. And uh, then we've got the uh, Colimatoni, Brunello de Montalcino 2009. And with the, all the hype on 2010, people have completely forgot about 2009. But a very good vintage and a one that opens up rather quickly. Uh, this wine's got a beautiful aroma of dried herbs, meat, porcini mushrooms, some stewed strawberry-like fruit, smooth and round on the tongue, drinking very nicely right now. All that nuance from the nose coming through on the finish and nice freshness here, some dark cocoa, fine tannins, and excellent bottle of Brunello. And then the 20 Bench, moving on to Napa Valley. Uh, this is uh, all purchased fruit, and these growers have come together at a custom crush facility to make this wine. A little bit of pepper and sweet tobacco spice to that red currant and cherry fruit. Simple but pleasant. This 2012 vintage, a real crowd pleaser juicy red berry fruit cherry berry on the tongue a nice little quaffer here but uh, it's got a nice little peppery tobacco spice on the finish there a very good little example of a napa cab in the entry level price range at 20 dollars sleight of hand the illusionist and this is uh from our good friend trey bush he makes some outstanding wines and uh you know the columbia valley just producing a bevy of really good juice here. This 2012 vintage, a little bit warmer, not quite as austere as a lot of the 2011s were. This wine's got a beautiful aroma of fresh plowed earth, coffee, dark chocolate, sweet tobacco spice to complement that red currant and raspberry fruit on the nose. Very seductive and wow, big and chewy on the tongue. This wine just seems to get better as it opens up. Layers of that spice and nuance on the nose coming through, that fresh earth, the acidity, and wonderful concentration of fruit here. Even better on the second day. This wine needs a couple years in the bottom. Bottle, most excellent juice at 52.50. All right, on to Priest Ranch. This is the Summerston Estate, a thousand acres. I don't know how many acres they've got up, uh, but the 1,200 acre property. And uh, these guys got most of it dedicated to forest lakes and cattle ranching. Uh, but the grapes that they grow up here are outstanding as well. This Coach Gun uh, is a blend of equal parts: Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Petit Verdot. This lovely red and black fruit, currants, cassis, toasty oaks spice, dark chocolate, a good hand of fresh earth. That's what you get from mountain wines. A uh, good hand of that terroir showing. Big and chewy on the tongue with layers of that currant and cherry fruit and array of spice and that mountain terroir. Again, most excellent juice at $81. Then the Summerson Stornoway, which is a single vineyard wine. And uh, it's a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Franc. This wine's got a good amount of graphite and fresh plowed earth and mineral notes to that dark currant and red cherry fruit. Kind of plum. Also fine herbs, dark tobacco spice, pretty floral notes. Really complex bouquet. Even bigger on the second day. This wine, big and chewy, lots of everything here on the finish. Bitter cocoa, good hand of that graphite, earth, and herbs coming through as well. Most excellent juice at $90 a bottle. Well, Napa Valley wine ain't cheap, especially when you're talking low production, high quality juice. And uh, that's what we had here today from Florent. It's just a bevy of outstanding, most excellent wines. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.